Hello, dear traders and investors. Today is the twelfth of September, Thursday. I'm online again with the regular market review prepared for InstaForex. Yesterday, the U.S. issued its inflation figures, which unveiled a rise. As a result, the U.S. dollar started gaining value. Today, the European Central Bank will announce its deposit facility rate. Analysts suppose that the regulator will cut the rate by twenty-five basis points. Sometime later, the ECB will hold its press conference. At the same time, the United States will disclose its PPI data. Let us switch to trading charts. Yesterday, during the European session, gold was testing the high of twenty five twenty eight, recorded two days ago. Then it dropped amid the U.S. inflation data. Today, the metal has been trading at the levels from which it slumped yesterday. Curiously, there is a swing low formed yesterday around twenty five twelve. There is one more swing low near twenty five double o. The price has touched this level several times already. It is good news for those who are trying to buy the asset now. If the expected U.S. reports are weak, gold may continue rising, thus breaking the mansion high. The euro dollar pair dropped yesterday amid the inflation data. I do not see any reversal signs at present. It is better to avoid trading this instrument now. The bounce sterling show the same dynamics. The price is hovering in the lower area and do not see any trading ideas at the moment. It's not a good idea to buy the instrument now. Meanwhile, the Australian dollar pulled back considerably. However, it managed to fully recover and rise even higher. There are signs of the formation of a swing low around zero point sixty six seventy five. The instrument will climb if the U.S. data is in a red. The dollar yen pair broke the level of one forty one. The level of one forty is likely to be broken sooner or after pullback. For now, I'm going to stop there. Stay tuned for our next video review.